Can you hear us? Hello, everyone. Oh, yes. We're well, here. There are the, the today's or August 2022 Wake Up Your Love Life live stream. Yes. Yay. Wake up your love life. Wake up your love life. We got to come up with a jingle, y'all. Okay. <laughs> yeah, jingles are great. Totally. We'll take all the jingles you guys have. Feel free to audio on us audio to us. I love audio messages. Yes. It communicates so much more. I, I agree. Oh my goodness. We have three people on already. Hello, sweet souls. Yeah, please. If you, uh, you know, have any comments or any questions as we go along, make sure you go ahead and put them in the comments. We can actually see them. We can, we can answer your questions. So um, before we get started with our guest and I can't figure out how to show her in this thing i was trying to figure it out i don't know it's, it's a background instead of instead of not a background <laughs> so you can, there she is if you can't see her anyways uh we have our guest belinda she's a feng shui expert we're going to be talking to her in just a moment but first we have a few things we want to, to let you know one of the things is if you're watching this live go ahead and press hashtag live and and so we know we're listening to this live and then if you're listening to this at, at a replay, just press hashtag replay so we know when you got to listen to it. So we kind of just know who listened to it when. Thank so, you very much. Yes, we appreciate you. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we have a few things we want you to know. Jenna, you want to take it away? Oh my goodness. Yes, y'all. I am Yo. so... <laughs> we are so excited to be hosting our next singles event. If you are single in Austin, Texas, and you are ready to meet conscious souls, just like you that are growing and evolving and learning, come to our event at Casa de Luz on August 28th. You can go to more conscious, no, consciousinglesevent.com to get your ticket. And early bird is till, I think, um, a week beforehand. So get your ticket. And then we also have some exciting news because we have launched our coaching program, which is the Love Accelerator Academy. And we are in the middle of it now, y'all, and it is so freaking juicy. Like, we are so excited about all that we're creating and what's being peeled back and uncovered and who's radiating, like getting the growth and the transformation that we're seeing in these people is just such an honor. So yeah, that is super cool getting, to be experiencing. One guy got four dates after he released some stuff. He got like four women after him the next day. Yeah. yeah. And we yeah. just started. Yeah. So it's all about changing people's vibration and it's exciting to watch really using lots of powerful tools and techniques to peel away the layers and get to that new vibration. Yes, yeah, so you can easily and effortlessly attract a mate. Like that's what happened to me. Like literally, I got my vibration right and he showed up. <laughs> literally, I was just telling Belinda, our guest, the story about it. I was hula hooping at a restaurant of all things. That's what I was doing when he walked up and wanted to hula hoop with me. So that's pretty cool. I mean, <laughs> I was just in my bliss. I was doing yeah, what I enjoy. Yeah, I had like totally figured out what it feels like to own my self worth, and then he he showed up. So it's all about yeah. changing our vibration, right? Right. If you get that, yes, we do moved out of the way, and you're being then you can be in your bliss, truly be in your bliss, and then that's when that happens. And to just to let you know, even though we're in the middle of it, if you're interested, let us know now so you can be in the next one that's coming up. It's going to be sooner than you think. So let, make sure you uh, let us know if you're interested. Yes. Yes, y'all. Thank you for witnessing us. And um, we love you all. We're excited to jump in here. So I yes. wanted to mention we're doing uh, complimentary mm -hmm. love guidance calls. So mm -hmm. that's a one-on-one -on -one call with one of us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <There we go. laughs> I know that's working right. With two really dive into what's going on in your love life and see where we might be able to support you. Yeah. So if you're interested, just let us know by, in the, in the comments, just let us know what you're interested in. Yeah. Hey, I or reach out to one of us either, either way we want to, we're here for you to help you and support you. 
on your yes. journey. The more, more love, <clears throat> the more better. That's right. Mm -hmm. So now let's go ahead and let's get started. We're going to be talking about our topic today is feng shui techniques to attract more love and romance. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so we're excited to bring on as our guest. Here's our guest here. Here she is. And there is our guest speaker today, feng shui expert Belinda Mendoza. So Belinda, welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Janet. Thank you, Jenna. I appreciate uh, you having me. I love this topic. Uh, most of the people that call me are for three things, more money, a romance, or better health. And so uh, it's, the, it's the most popular. Mm. Uh, thanks for having me. Yeah. Well, tell us a little bit about you and then uh, we'll go in straight into the, uh, the, the content here. Of what, well, what I've been, I've been practicing feng shui now for, I'm going on my 22nd year as wow. a consultant and a practitioner. I love it. I, I, you know, left a corporate job that I was into for 18 years and thought I'd try something totally different. Nice. That was about work-life balance. And uh, it has so many facets to it that I've just enjoyed it and continued on. And so I've been doing it quite a bit, you know, for a lot of productive, you know, it could be anything for, for home, condos, RVs, all the way up to, you know, skyscrapers. So it's, it's uses are just all over the place. And that's why it keeps me really interested in it. Nice. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, and just let you know, Belinda came to my house and feng shui my whole home. And mm. it's just really cool what she did. She said, my house is good luck forever. <laughs> so that's Yay. Really cool. Yeah. Just, you know, some houses are, and uh, the ones that are, we can, we can fix. Ah. And the ones that are still need, you still need adjusting, but you have a good framework is what we'd say. Right. Yeah. When you have that kind of house. Yeah. That's so. right. Cool. Well, but I, you know, I like what you said about the vibration because that's what I teach and what I work with. And feng shui, for those people I know, everybody knows what the words are. They're wind and water. But they're basically all about energy. And that is what we're working with on every level, whether it's money, health, or romance. And my work is to uplift people, to, to, to change their frequency to a higher level. And when you're looking for romance and love, um, you have to raise your own vibration, your own frequency for that. And that means that you have to start with yourself. So you have to be a very loving person to yourself. You know, you have to feel love, uh, you know, whether you have someone in your life or not. Because the last thing you want to attract is someone who is fulfilling a need as in I'm lonely. I want somebody. I don't have enough money. I want somebody. I need somebody because I can't do things on my own. You're not going to attract a healthy partner that way. If you're healthy and you're feeling good in a, in a happy state, as Jenna was saying, she was hula hooping, just enjoying her day. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, so, you know, so her partner shows up and it's like attract like, and so that's a perfect example of what we're talking about. So I always ask people to start with an intention, no matter where you are in your relationship status, it, it, it's a new day. Every day is a new day to start. So even if you've had past relationships that failed or you feel like you're just not a person that can be in a relationship because of your past experiences, just know that you can shift out of that and start anew on any given day. And so that's what we want you to do. And, and one of the ways to do that is to is through intention. And that starts the process and the ball rolling because there's a lot of energy and thought. So if your intention is to attract a mate that is supporting, loving, giving in every way, then you just set that aside and then you go about your day uh, being blissful and doing things for yourself that make you happy, that make you feel loving and lovable. And then you'll start to to attract those those kinds of experiences and those kinds of people because you're already in that state. You're not in a needy state. If you're in a needy state, you're probably going to attract somebody who's very controlling because they feel like they have to take care of you. And you don't want that. You want someone who cares about you and who's there for you emotionally in every way, supporting you. Those are the kind of things you want. So I always have people write intentions for what they really, 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 really want. OK, not just something they think they might be able to have <clears throat> to be very, um, uh, very careful or mindful of 
asking for things that have to do with qualities, not so much about he needs to be six foot two, blonde, blue eyed, you know, muscular, you know, those are things that are fine. You know, there's chemistry, sure. But you really want to attract qualities. That is someone who who is loving, who's caring, who's going to be available to me in every way and who I'm attracted to. And we're attracted to each other rather than put down specific traits or have in your mind a certain body type, whatever. That's very limiting. It's much more expansive if you ask for qualities in a person. A person is self-sufficient. Now, there's a very good, strong correlation in feng shui between romance, sex, love, and money. So, you know, it's important that, you know, you you are in a financial uh, position that you feel stable in and that you, um, that way you're not going to be attracting somebody because I need somebody to help me pay my bills. Um, doesn't mean that you won't attract that, you know, even if you're at a, at, at a certain state and you won't attract someone who has a, a strong, fi stronger financial situation than you, but you're not going to if you're already in that lower vibration. So you want to be, you know, in a place where you feel financially stable and so that you're attracting someone similar or better than. And that's what we always ask for is these qualities or better. And that's what I like people to start with. And so um, think about that when you're looking at your writing your intentions. So that's really how we get started. Now, one of the big um, things we activate in, in feng shui are directions for certain areas. And the, the money corner is the southeast. And so we always ask you to activate that because if you're abundant and you're making money, you're going to feel good. You're going to feel sexy. You're going to feel attractive. If you're struggling or you're you know stressed out about paying bills, you're not going to be in a place that's going to uh, be open to someone you're meeting someone so you want to have a strong financial uh, place in your in your life so activating the southeast corner of your house is really good for money and you can do that with a water feature you can do it with a green plant hanging wind chimes fresh flowers just making it a really beautiful area of your house you can even put something there that has to do with money in that southeast corner also, this is a tiger year. Every year we go into a different animal. This year's tiger year, and it's very, very strong for love and romance and marriage. So it's a really good year to put yourself out there to attract someone because the energies are in your favor. And the next thing I go into is setting the stage. So now that we put you know our thoughts out there, what we really want, now we set the stage for that. And in feng shui, that's the bedroom. So the bedroom has to have a really strong um, feel for love and romance. I've worked with women that were single. I went to their bedroom and there was a picture over the bed of a woman crying. There was flowers next to the bed and they were dead. And, you know, this is a person wanting to attract a, a mate. So we took the picture down and we put a picture of two lovebirds over her bed. We put fresh flowers, which we don't really do plants and flowers in the bedroom. But just a small, you know, arrangement is fine. And you want to put images in the bedroom for love and romance because you're you're wanting to attract. And in feng shui, it's the art of harmonious placement. So all of the things have energy. So we don't want pictures of people in the bedroom other than you and your mate or images of you and a potential partner. So you could have lovebirds. You could have a picture of the kiss, you know, the Rodin picture of the people embracing, you know, you can have, you know, different pictures of and in your bedroom that reflect love and romance of what you want. You could have two people walking on the beach, two people walking in Paris, sitting in a cafe, having a glass of wine, things like that. Um, and images of places you'd even like to visit. Maybe opposite your bed is a picture of Hawaii if that's a place you want to go with your potential mate or partner. Now, these are also tips that work for people who already have a relationship and they want to enhance it, you know, because a lot of people with kids and work and everything, you know, romance can sometimes go out the window and they're just pretty much just like pals because the only reason they go in the bedroom is to knock out and sleep and then go to work. And so we need to, we need to recreate and uh, that energy because it can get very uh, stagnant. So pairs are very uh, pairs and images and pairs of things 
in the bedroom. And along the, the idea of pairs is that we always want you to have a bed with two nightstands and two lamps. It's a balance of the yin and yang. And it's really important to have a solid headboard, nothing with slats in it, nothing pointed, nothing metal, a good solid organic mattress with a wood headboard is really the best. I can have a footboard as well. Um, and it can be padded, you know, that's also good as long as it's got a smoothness to it. And those are things that provide support in the relationship. And the best beds in feng shui are not your king, but your queen. Now, a lot of people like king because they like all the room in there. But think about it. It has the two people at the opposite ends with a lot of room most of the time or a lot of room for the dogs. And so really we want the queen because it's a little more cozy for the couple. And so it's better. And also the king bed has two, usually two twin beds that are put, put together. And that's kind of creates a separation for the couple. So we prefer the queen if, if, if at all. It doesn't mean the king is bad, but it's just the queen is a, is a better bed in, the, in feng shui. We also want to make sure you don't have a lot of clutter in the bedroom because clutter will weigh down the relationship. It will also hold back you meeting anybody new. And if you need to stop at any moment, guys, and you need to ask me a question, feel free. Um, but anyway, I had a man who had clutter under the bed. I mean, he had like pieces of wood that he was building a house. And there was all this stuff under the bed. And of course, he didn't have a relationship. And so I had him get rid of all of that and, and create, you know, more because we want the chi, as we call it, energy to flow around the bed. It's good for health. And so those are things we want in the bedroom. Um, we want you to remove work objects. So you shouldn't have books and computers and all kinds of work stuff in your bedroom. It, it Bedroom is for sleep. It's for recharging your battery and for intimacy. And that's it. So you don't really want to have a lot of work stuff because that just, again, it's, it's a, a lot of energy uh, on you that you don't need. Uh, it's a good idea to make your bed every day. Don't leave it messy, you know, because you want to come into your bedroom feeling like it's a really like a boudoir, very nice looking, feels good. And that's important for you to do that. Not a lot of plants and flowers, as I said before, it's too much energy. We want to slow things down in the bedroom. Um, we want you to put things that are, um, if you want to put water, uh, like a water feature, a water uh, symbol, like I said, a picture of Hawaii, that would be fine. Um and no mirrors. So we don't put mirrors in the bedroom because, again, too much energy. So we want to slow the energy down for relaxation and for romance. Think about when you want to go on a vacation with your romantic partner. And maybe it's, you know, St. Thomas or it's some beach vacation. What does the room look like? What would you want it to look like? You know, it would be very serene, very open. It wouldn't have a lot of work stuff. It wouldn't have kids' toys. You know, it would be very open and serene and lovely. And that's how you want your bedroom to be. So that's one of the things that's real important in terms of the of the clutter. I have a question about that. Yes. So um, if you did have a TV in your in your room, can you cover it with something? Is that something you can do? I know it's probably ideal not to have a TV in your bedroom, but yeah, we did. actually recommend that you you cover the television with a with a um, you know a cloth of some sort or have a cabinet. And uh, it's also good because we call, we have what we call EMFs, electromagnetic frequencies that affect us at night. And that way you have it closed. It's not going to affect you, so you'll have better sleep. Okay. okay. Um, you want to have a picture of the couple. So if you're a couple, make sure you have a picture that's current in your bedroom of the two of you. If you've been married for 40 years, we don't want to see a picture of you when you were 20 years old at the wedding altar. We want to see something more current and looks like you're having a good time. Maybe when you're on vacation or you're out to dinner, because that's more real about where you are now and where you're going. Put the wedding pictures away in an album because it's not current. So that's one thing that's important on that. Um, and I said pairs. So we wanted to do that. Um, the only other thing I want to mention is for people who are wanting to attract a mate, um, you don't want to. You want to make room for the person. So a lot of single women, they have no room in their closet. It's stuffed to the max. 
they have two end tables and they're full. So if you had an ideal partner coming to visit in three weeks, he or she would not have any place to put their things. And so you want to act as if. And so create the bedroom if you're single and you're wanting to attract someone as though that person is coming to visit you soon. And that's why you leave room in the in the closet and you leave room on the side table. And those are really cool. And the other thing is, um, is, is add crystal elements. So anything with crystal, you've seen those salt lamps, the, the rose quartz. Those are really strong for bringing in the earth element, which is helpful for relationships. Um, you can wear, that's why I wore a lot of, um, of, of my rose quartz tonight, is to show you, you can wear rose quartz. You can wear jewelry that has the red color, which is for passion. The rose quartz is the love energy. Um, I'm wearing a pink blouse um, because that's a love color. So if you're uh, going out to, you know, a singles event and you're wanting to attract love, wear pink. If you want to attract passion, wear red. Um, same thing with the bedroom, the pinks and reds, reds are for passion. Pink is for love and also corals and earthy tones in those shades work. Um, so a lot of times people will tell me, I don't like those colors, you know, especially if it's a male, a male, you know, I don't really like pink. Um, it doesn't have to be Pepto-Bismol pink. It can be this very soft pink, or you can just use pink sheets and then use whatever comforter you have. It's just bringing in those colors either in the wall color or in the sheets or in some bedding or some, some, you know, sofa, uh, what do you call them? cushions or candles, just bringing in the red and pink tones will help with that. Um, okay. So now it's the third, which is taking action. So here we've set the stage. I had a feng shui master say, it doesn't matter to set up your, your home and your bedroom for romance and love if you never go out. You have to take action because basically what feng shui is, it basically creates momentum. There's no woo-woo to this art. It's really just moving energy that's all that's pretty much stagnant. If there's an area in your life that is not working, it's because there's some stagnation. And stagnation is caused from clutter, from inaction, indecision, fear. So these are things that, you know, um, when you're working with people who help you break down barriers to relationships in terms of your emotional uh, state, these are going to help you because you want to be open and free and uh, to receiving love. So that's very important. So the one of the, the some of the things that I just briefly and I'll be done after this is when you set the stage is you take action. And so that means, you know, you know, for some people, it's set a date for sex. You know, if you're a couple, you know, decide that, you know, Wednesday's your day. And it sounds kind of silly, but in, in a way you look forward to it, you know, and you plan for it. Um, uh, have fun in, in your relationship, whatever you're doing, even if it's going out with friends to, to make sure that you're, you know, um, in the love mode. OK, so that that you're going out and, and with the intent of, you know, being beautiful, feeling good about yourself and seeing who you can attract. Um, the other is to seek sensuality. That is for yourself. Make sure you're always feeling sensual. That could be going and getting a massage, getting a body polish, getting something to done. Make you feel more sexy and, and loving uh, because this is a vibration that people will feel. And I know Janet can relate to this because she teaches a lot of, of, of you know, women how to, uh, you know, present themselves and all of this. This is very important because this is part of that attraction uh, for women. Fix your hormones. OK, nobody wants to be around somebody that's a witch and in a bad mood all the time. So if you know that you're, you know, oh, you're, really, <laughs> and you know that you're going to be, uh, you know, not in a good mood most of the time. Think about maybe what's going on within you that you need to get balanced, you know, whether it's hormonal or otherwise, uh, you know, that can be affecting, you know, why the relationship is off. Um, also, you know, for men, I would say this more for men, but it could be for women too. It's slow down, you know, enjoy, enjoy the time together, enjoy the physicalness together in, in, and, and take time, you know, with, with lovemaking and with 
uh, with actually getting to know the person and 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 having fun with them. Um, and the final one I have here is, you know, make a date, you know, uh, a, you know, a date. It could be just in the, you know, one day of the week again, um, in the bedroom where it's you you cuddle, you you're together, but there's no sex. Okay, so that will actually heighten the feeling of wanting to be with the person the next night or in a couple of days. Okay, so there's not this expectation of you just fall into bed and see if y'all are in the mood. You know, it's more like there's a little bit of fun to a little bit of game playing with some of this because it creates that anticipation and makes you feel a little bit more like, you know, there there's more of an excitement there. So those are some ideas that I've had on the taking action. And it is getting out, meeting people, letting people know you're single, letting people know that you want to meet someone. You know, I have a lot of women um, clients and they don't tell anybody. They're embarrassed, you know, that they want to meet somebody. And I said, no, I mean, these these are, everybody knows somebody. And so it'd be nice to be able to just say or just invite you to events and things that where you can be out there and just let yourself be be known and seen let your light shine if you will so those are my tips and i'm ready for questions yeah. so jenna had a question earlier when you were talking about money being in the southeast corner yes you need to know yeah i think is it love in the southwest corner yes that's what i thought okay so yeah. love and, and romance that, southwest and, and yeah, so love, that might be a good place to put say a love altar in the southwest of the yeah. house, of the home okay or the bedroom or, or the bedroom got it some, some people don't want to put an altar like in the living room or out in their house uh or love little love thing uh and so you can do it in your bedroom in the southwest corner that makes sense oh, yeah. okay in the southwest corner of the bedroom of the bedroom yeah. the money yes. was thank you for that yes 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 and the other thing i didn't mention is aromatherapy um this is a little one called passion Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's all kinds. Rose is really great for the bedroom. It brings in the love. And you can spritz it, use rose. Um, but there are lots of little, uh, you know, nice aromatherapies that one can wear that also make you feel, you know, in that, in that vibration too. So whatever helps you be in the love vibration, knowing that you're very attractive to the opposite sex, or whatever, you know, whoever you it is, then that's going to be much more powerful for you without doing a lot of work. That's the beauty of feng shui is that when you do this stuff, you don't have to put a lot of effort. Yeah, that's awesome. This is wonderful information. Oh my yeah, gosh. like the universe uh, starts working. We're take all these notes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're going to have to go back and rewatch this one so we can take all the notes. I know. <laughs> Well, and I, and I know you guys can relate to this. I have people that I work with that I don't do what I consider to do very little for in terms of, you know, moving things around in their home or making suggestions. And they have magnanimous results. I mean, they meet somebody, they get married, they're, they're about a bit in another house and then, you know, goes on and on. And I have other people who I work with a long time. I do energy work on them. I do the energy clearing on the house. I help them with the, the romance corner, the bedroom, what have you. And it just is a slow, slow process. And they barely, you know, things don't, they have, are just movement is slow. And they basically will find something, but it'll take a long time. Those are people who are blocked. They're not ready. They're fearful of what they have, have asked for. So there, that's where it comes into you know, re removing blocks to uh, whatever fears you have about intimacy. Well, that's a good thing because that's what that's what that's what our coaching business, more conscious love, is all about. Right, mm -hmm. and that that is what really makes all of this work. It's it's the emotional body, the emotional state, along with the physical, and you can't just that. Like I said, you just can't set up the bedroom and not go anywhere. <laughs> um, you know, and you also can't go out and not talk to anybody, you know, so it's got to be at your level of comfort. I'm not telling you to go out and 
you know, go to a mixer if you're an introvert and don't do that. But there's a lot in between that mm -hmm. that you can do. And so it's just a matter of taking baby steps. And that's the thing with any of the stuff that I coach on, whether it's money, health or relationship, it's taking baby steps each day towards what it is you desire. Right. Because everything is energy and it starts to build on itself. Oh, that's beautiful. I love and I also have clients that tell me, I don't want a relationship. I don't want one. No way. And I say, okay, well, and this is a person who's single and has been on their own a long time. And I said, well, we don't want to block it. It's okay to have a choice, but we don't want to block it. Because what if somebody comes into your life who is a wonderful human being, companion, and friend, and you, and you know, and that lands up being your mate for life. Yeah. So it can come in many, many packages. So just be open to having love in your life in whatever form it can come in. Right. That's great. So, so great. So I guess we have questions now. Those are, I see those about four people, at least right now, uh, on. If y'all have any questions that you would like to ask Belinda. Please go ahead and do that now and put it in the comments and we will see them. Mm -hmm. And then we can answer your question. Or she can answer your questions. I didn't really see any. Uh, I did look in the comments earlier. You're the rat here. I don't know why that person said that. But anyways, it's the year of the tiger, right? Yeah. Okay. So, and that's cool that it's about, I didn't know that, that it was about love and romance, right? Is you said yeah. about romance it's and marriage? Strong year, strong year for it. Yeah. The year the tiger is for that. It's great. Yeah. So it's, it's taking steps each day toward it. Mm -hmm. And again, beginning with yourself, mm -hmm. you know, because if you don't feel good about yourself, you're not going to attract anybody because they're going to feel that. Yeah. And so how do you feel good about yourself? Do things that are, that make you happy. Yeah. I always say be in your bliss. <laughs> yeah. Do things that make you feel, feel good. Be in your joy. Mm -hmm. Things like that. Yeah, any questions on you want? Do what lights you up. That's right. No, I love it. I love it so much in line with what we do. Mm -hmm. You know, in, in our Love Accelerator Academy program that we have, we actually have, you know, about looking your best, about getting out there and connecting with others and all that kind of good stuff. So. Yeah, like you really hit on home on like a lot of the things that we <laughs> Yeah. Are like, yes, my head is like bobbing the whole time. Like, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, uh, it's so, so yeah, good. What, what did you think about my comment about the hormones? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a great. I, I love, love that. that one, I think it's super important. I yeah. loved how you got, you like went to the source of a lot of people's problems. And you said it like, I thought very gracefully because we... We need to hear that as women, because I know I struggled with that for a long time. And oh, my gosh, um, we've got some stories to tell about how my hormones used to rule me. Um, thank goodness that is uh, we're all free from that now. But um, for sure, <laughs> um, I like how you brought it up for the men too to slow down, you know, because that's that's challenging for men. Like it's challenging for women. So you kind of gave us both some really core advice. Thank you. Yeah. That's so important because it's so much more, you know, love the whole love with a person, you know, you want to enjoy, you know? And so if it's just so quick, it's over, you know, it's like, so it's not as, as, as good as it could be. And that's important for people to be aware of. That's why I like the idea of, making a plan, a date, you know, and things like that, because especially married couples that have been long around a lot longer than married than y'all that they just, you know, it's months before they go on a date by themselves. Absolutely. We could not agree enough. <laughs> we actually have it on our calendar, like our weekly love making sessions. It is filled in. <laughs> There is nothing that will deter us from it. We are very, very dedicated. Oh, I love that. I love that. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah. And, you know, I mentioned jewelry, you know, crystals, rose quartz is the love one. And, um, you know, wearing just a bracelet, like if you go to an, an event, yes. just a, a rose quartz bracelet is also, yeah, 
is also really good because it's again what it's doing is not just it's your your connection with it you know you know you're attracting love when you're wearing it and that's what what helps it it, it work so um that's why i think it's important to have yeah, wow this is so wonderful all the great nuggets of of wisdom and yeah. What to do using feng shui to help your love life that's so amazing i'm, I'm seriously going to go back and i mean i know i remember you told me a lot of this but i'm going to go back and start implementing some of it a lot of it yeah. we already did but there's some things that have gotten a little bit like i was thinking about my headboard my headboard is is is, is wood but it does have some flats in it in the in the yeah. top part so i'm like yeah. oh my goodness need to get that yeah. all well you know there's a, there's things you can do there you can use like really big thick uh pillows that just cover the slats so that your head isn't just on the backboard okay or you can put a you know a drape over it like a you know some kind of a um tapestry or something over it you know okay. instead of having to buy a new headboard oh that's cool mm -hmm. oh, it's a good excuse to buy one now <laughs> yeah, yeah. So but the cooler thing in the bedroom is the biggie too, because a lot of people just have way too much stuff in the bedroom that is not necessary to be in there. So that's important. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it has more stuff in it. The last time you were there, it was a long time you were there, but it, I'm just I, yeah, oh yeah, and Anna was such a, she was such a good sport because we we moved so much. Yeah, I'll let and you do whatever had, you want. Had a lot to have to put back, so. No, I think I kept it. I think for what I remember. Yeah. yeah. And it was really fun. Yeah, I highly recommend y'all use uh you know, call call Belinda. Uh let's see, I'm gonna go over here. Sorry, my banner. Uh I guess there's no questions. That's too bad because this is such a wealth of knowledge that you have here. But right. if, if uh yeah, and I will I will uh, I'm always available to help people via Zoom. All I need to do is see a picture of your bedroom. And we can do a Zoom session over the phone, I mean, over Zoom, and uh, even your house. I mean, I do homes via Zoom, too. But if you just need some help with the with the relationship sector, we can just do the bedroom. Um, so, And I'm also offering for anybody that uh, does listen to this and wants to um, support this channel that uh, they get free 45-minute phone consult with me on the love and romance oh, issue in the bedroom but if it's something else that's fine too yes oh wow. my gosh we are so writing down your phone number right now <laughs> <laughs> and here, i want to i just realized some of these people don't live in austin but you could still help them over the over Zoom, right. right absolutely yeah okay let me oh, i'm gonna put your email in here too i'm gonna be moving towards zoom uh, i did it with covid you know, causing that. And it's just been great. So, you know, I'd like to see mo more and more work that way because I can really with this, with a floor plan and pictures, um, I'm able to help them give them good advice to get them going. That's amazing. That's really great. It, and it makes total sense. You know, you can see what's going on. So, yeah. Yeah. And as you notice, know, <laughs> there wasn't anything I said to you that was really woo woo or didn't make sense. You know, it all makes sense. Exactly. You think about the fact that you have an intention for what you're wanting and you set, you surround yourself with those, the things that will create that, then you're going to be more in that vibration and therefore you're going to attract it. Right. Yes. This has been so incredibly juicy, Belinda. Thank well, you. Good. We are so grateful for your generosity. On the and offering our viewers a free 45 minute Zoom session. That's like priceless. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Mm -hmm. Yes. Can I, any, oh, wait. We got, I think we might have one question. Let's see. Oh, she, this one woman. Okay. Somebody was a year of the rat, by the way. I thought that was cool. She was saying she was the year of the rat. So I think that's really neat. Or somebody else says she or he. I just said she. I don't know why. What that. year are you, Janet? I'm a dragon. A dragon, okay. I'm supposed, and I'm supposed to marry a rat late in life. Now, I don't know if that was a woman or a man, but anyways. Um, so one Facebook user said, I wish you weren't in an Asheville area, Belinda. My 102 years old farmhouse has a lot of funk that needs to be cleared. Oh, yeah. So 
Yeah. But I don't know. Maybe you can still work with her. Maybe. Yeah. Um, no, there's a lot of work. I can't tell who yeah, that there's is. There's a lot of work that be, can be done on a feng shui level. The energy clearing for a farmhouse. You know, I do a lot of energy clearing on Zoom for people that are going through some um, issues with fear, with um, stagnation, with health issues. Um, and also there's a way to do distance healing on properties. So she should call me. Okay. So you can either use this one or her email or up here. It's your to go. Oh, I was looking at the wrong place. There's a phone. There should be a phone number I left. I don't know. Yeah, it's right here. Yeah. Or you can call her here. Yes. So just, you know, you text or call her and mm -hmm. whoever's in the States. I know I have an international group as well. That's why I wanted to make sure they also knew that your email address, they could do a Zoom session with you. That'd be because great. Because you can do this on Zoom. So. Right. You can use either one. I had a client, I had a client um, two months ago in Dubai. And oh, we, really? did, we did her home. And uh, and that was really cool. So, yeah, it's neat. That's wow. Cool. That's awesome to hear. <laughs> that's so awesome, Belinda. Oh, the internet. The, inter the, the Zoom stuff. Yeah, I know, right? And then these yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. Just like, just, you know, this is going to eight different places at one time. Yeah, we have three different Facebook groups, our personal profiles, and our pages, and our our YouTube channel. So, so it's a, and we can share it, right? Yeah, it's totally. And yeah, okay. once it's done, it might take a little bit before, but yeah. Yeah. Any more questions for Belinda before we go and wrap up here? Any more? You guys see, there's four people right now. Anybody else? Any questions? Okay. Well. You know, I've known Belinda for a long time. Like I said, she did my house. I can't can't recommend her enough. Like she's amazing. Again, if you want to get with her, you can text her and you can do a Zoom session with her and see what see what she can do for you next. And I'd like to say the same thing about Dan. And I have not met, ever met anybody that could attract a person as much as and easy as she does. <laughs> well, <thank you. laughs> she yeah. has she has a knack. And she has some tips for you. So if that's an issue for you, talk to her. Oh, well, thank you, Belinda. <laughs> that was not expected. Well, thank you. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. yeah, I used to teach a flirting class, and we're going to be bringing it back soon, hopefully. So, Well, and, listen, and our, women, especially women who are past, you know, millennial age, you know, 50s and, and uh, over, need that. Mm -hmm. That's right. Because, you know, when you're young, I mean, flirtation is like not even needed. <laughs> but you know you do it just because it's fun but after that you know it's it's women get more reserved and you know it's like not you know the thing to do and all that. and there's really so much to that yeah. you know and that that can really benefit a lot of women oh thank you mm -hmm. well thank you i appreciate you saying that sure yeah we actually are going to teach that also in our love accelerator academy so again if y'all are wanting to know we do lots of stuff in there we do the flirting releasing of past stuff. We, you know, all sorts of things, uh, your, your, your appearance, upgrading your, your appearance, upgrading your insides and your outsides. You could say. Super. Yeah. Yes. All go, all ties together. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank well, you ladies. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Thank you so much for being yeah, here. Thank you. Thank and you so you much, all. Melinda. You're welcome. Okay. Nice meeting y'all. Okay, bye well, bye. we're going to we're gonna stay on for just a moment, but thank you again, Belinda, for being here. Okay, thank you. Jen. We'll give you bye. a call soon. Okay, bye. sounds good. Bye. 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 Okay. Oh, wow. wow, that was so good. <laughs> I know. She's always wonderful. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I love her. She's just, yeah. She's super wise. Like, Oh, yeah. She just yeah. knows her stuff, and she... As you can see, she just knew exactly what to talk about. And really, this would be a great thing for us to definitely, you know, incorporate into any of our stuff that we're coaching because it's just Absolutely. Good. all of it done. Yeah. yeah. I'm we'll be replaying and taking notes. That's right. <laughs> oh, someone oh, I just saw someone said something. Let's see, what did they say? Oh, they said thanks for being here. Okay. Yeah, for Belinda. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. She was really good. So great. grateful. Well, hopefully a lot of people are going to also watch us on a replay mm -hmm. and we'll learn a lot of good, wonderful, juicy, like you said, juicy things about love and romance and how you can create that vibration in your home and in yourself to start attracting love to you using feng shui techniques. 
Yes, that is our wish for you guys. And if you're in Austin, we hope to see you at our singles event on August 28th at Casa de Luz. Um, you can go to more conscious, no, conscious singles events.com and uh, get your ticket there. We'd love to see you guys. Yeah. And if any of y'all are just interested in a free love guidance call, again, we're more conscious love. We put on these wake up your love life live streams mm -hmm. uh, monthly for right now, having guests. You might see more of us soon <laughs> mm -hmm. now that we got our love accelerator program going. And again, Free, free love guidance call we can there's one-on-one -on -one sessions and there's also a love accelerator academy so you can also join that as well so thank you for being all of you being here again hashtag live if you saw it live or hashtag replay if you saw it on, on a replay and again if you have questions even on the replay if you're watching us on the replay ask us questions if we don't know we'll get belinda to, to answer your questions that's okay? right that's right Okay. Yeah. Thanks for joining us, sweet loves. Yes. Y'all yes. take care. We'll see take you. Care. Bye. See you next month. <laughs>